that's kind of the recipe for high fire danger. And unfortunately, it is some of the highest fire danger that we have had this year just because we haven't had that first good rain of the season yet. So the fuels are still pretty dry. And then as the drier air moves in throughout the day Friday, some of those finer fuels will be able to dry out fairly quickly. And then you combine that with some wind gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour. And any small fire that does start would be able to spread quickly. So the basic takeaway there is try not to engage in any activities that might start a fire and we should be all right. But looking at the temperatures, it's somewhat mild out there. You probably noticed that throughout the day today. It almost might be surprising that we're dealing with high fire danger over the next few days just because it was actually pretty cool in some places, staying in the 60s, warmest locations just in the low 70s. But the main thing that's driving this isn't so much temperature as it is the winds. Now, right now, the winds aren't all that impressive, around 5 to 15 miles per hour. But the winds will be picking up overnight tonight. It's kind of the opposite of what usually happens. Usually your winds calm down. But this is at about 8 a.m. in the morning. Typically, this map will show 5 miles per hour. But see some of these higher elevations showing around 20 to 30 miles per hour. And wouldn't rule out some gusts up to 40 overnight tonight. And then it actually looks like tomorrow afternoon, the winds become a bit more widespread. So not just the highest elevation seeing the strongest gusts, but almost everyone around 20 to 25 miles per hour. And then there's a second surge as we get into Friday night into Saturday. It doesn't look like it's going to be as windy as tonight, but it is going to be drier at that point. So. Although it's less windy, it may actually be higher fire danger Friday night into Saturday. Now just showing the change in wind direction because this is kind of the most important part of this. Throughout the day today, it was northwesterly and then overnight tonight, you see how it shifts more offshore. And that's why it's going to be pushing in the drier conditions that basically pulls the moisture out of the fuels, makes it easier for fires to start. And then if fires do start, it's a lot easier for those fire just fires to spread because the fire doesn't have to use any of its energy to pull the moisture out of the fuels. It's already out of the fuels. So looking at the long range, it does look like by Saturday afternoon, the winds really start to come down. So it looks like we will have some relief on the horizon there, but definitely some high fire danger starting tonight. And then more so as we get into tomorrow afternoon and things start to dry out a bit more. So two impact days and then things should calm down. Yeah, it looks like by Saturday afternoon, a lot of the strongest winds are behind us. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Holt.